Hi, Rosario. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm very good. Excellent. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo sube el día? Uh, muy bien, teacher. Bien. Sin ir a trabajar. Todavía no. <risa> no, todavía no. Es que han habido problemas en la empresa. Ah, ¿y en qué empresa labora? Ay. Ajetín. ¿Cómo? Ajetín. ¿Y de qué rubro es esa? Es una empresa semiautónoma que trabajamos para los empleados públicos. No sé si se ha dado cuenta que se tomaron al edificio unas personas, entonces no estamos yendo a trabajar. Hasta que la fiscalía haga las respectivas investigaciones. Ah, oh, Jesús. Está, sí. está, está algo complicada esa parte. Sí, lo, lo que aflige es el salario, porque tenemos deudas y ahí van los descuentos, nos vamos a atrasar. Sí, 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 eso se comprende. Pero bueno, sí. ¿verdad? A, ver, a ver qué tal solucionan esta gente. Primero Dios, se ha sí. todo bien. Sí, ojalá que sí. Ojalá, sí. él sabrá lo mejor. Sí. ¿Y la familia qué tal? Gracias a Dios, bien. Nice, nice. Sí. Hi, Miriam. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Hello, Miriam. Welcome. How are you? Tiene sonido, quizás. Uh -huh. Good, sí, evening. Ah. Good evening. Excuse me. <ríe> no es que no me funcionaba el, el micrófono. <ríe> sí, siempre, sí, siempre claro. pasa de que, que cuesta que entre un poquito, pero ya ahí vamos. <ríe> sí. ¿Qué tal, Rosario? Buenas noches. ¿Cómo estás? Good, Good evening. Noches. Good evening. <ríe> Hay que saludar en inglés, aunque sea. <ríe> <ríe> no, come on. <ríe> ahí vamos aprendiendo poquito a poquito. Yes, that's the idea. That's the idea. Step by step. Step sí. by step, exactly. Yes. Step little by, by step. little. <laughs> little by little. Uh -huh. Little by little. Uh -huh. Yeah. Little by little. You said it. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo sube el día, Miriam? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right. ¿Cómo se dice ocupado? Busy. Ah, it was busy. Uh -huh. It was busy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was busy. Ahí puede decir, it was a little busy, a little, only a little busy. Or it was very busy, right? Very, very busy. <laughs> Uh-huh. All right. And let's see, Rosario, what, what are your, uh, your sons doing right now? What are they doing? Um, uh, and this day, uh, only starting my house, uh, mm -hmm. clean the house, uh, <laughs> close, wash the clothes. Wash the clothes. Uh -huh. And yes, um, fix the bed. Fix the bed, right? Uh -huh. um, and, and, and your children, do they study? And my, my son. Uh -huh. uh, Work in, in the house. In the house. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You have only... My second son. Uh -huh. My second son uh, got up the in, in his his job. In his job. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Nice. And Miriam, do you have any children, Miriam? No. Not yet. 
Not yet. <laughs> but do you want? <laughs> but do you want children in the future? Ah uh, no. No, really? No want. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're like me. Uh, es responsabilidad y compromiso. Yes, yes. Yes. Y sacrificio, ¿verdad, Rosa? Pero son, son bonitos sí. también. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Yeah, pues yeah, in my case, probably one cat or, or one dog. <laughs> but, not, <laughs> but, but, but not a boy or a girl. I think it's too difficult for me. It's too difficult for me. <laughs> Ahí estamos bien, teacher. Yes, we're fine. Sí, el problema es que yo siento que a mí no me queda tiempo de nada. Entonces, este, eh, sí, siento que necesita mucha, mucha atención. Y yo sé que se puede, ¿verdad? Porque hay gente que, que quizás hace lo mismo y, y tiene tiempo, pero no sé. Siento que no estoy preparado para eso. Sí. Mis hijos igual. Mis hijos igual. Ellos no quieren hijos todavía. Ay, no. Sí. No, pero es que está joven, ¿verdad, teacher? Usted. Sí, tengo. ¿Cuánto me calcula? Certified. Certified. Yes. Uh, no. No, 28. 27. Yes, 27. Uh -huh, 27. 20, uh, 27. Uh, I'm 27. Yeah. Casi, casi le pegaba. <laughs> <laughs> sí, Helen, Helen dijo, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> es que yo creo que en lo que dijo un día que estábamos hablando de la descripción, ahí creo que dijo usted su edad. Mm. Ah, entonces sí, sí me estaba poniendo atención. Ya digo. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's see, Helen, uh, who do you live with, Helen? ¿Qué manda? Who do you live with? <laughs> Con mi papá y mi hermano. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. And uh, what is your brother? I live with my brother. Uh -huh. What is your brother doing right now? ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo ahorita? My brother is watching TV in Netflix. Ah, in Netflix. Oh, wow. Nice. Do you like to watch Netflix? Yes, I like it. What's your favorite? What's your favorite series? Uh, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, really? Ah. Sí. Ah, interesting. Ah. Uh -huh. Ozark también, algo así creo que se llama la otra. Ozark. Uh -huh. Ozark. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, I haven't watched that one. No he visto esa. Breaking Bad creo que solo vi el primer capítulo. <laughs> <laughs> Es que, sí, pero es, es lo, uh, lo mantiene a uno bien así, bien en suspenso. Ah, ok, ok. <ríe> sí. Es que siento que es muy larga, como que para ir ahorita al día siento que tengo que pasar bastante tiempo, entonces es como la de... ¿Cuál otra Ajá. me gustó fue Vikings? Ah, ok. Eso está en mi, en mi, en mi, en my list. No la he visto todavía, pero sí la quiero ver. Ajá. Sí, es ahí. Ajá. Mire, yo no, a veces ni... Bueno, porque tenía que dormir, pero digamos, tenía la oportunidad el sábado, domingo, y ay, sí, capítulo tras capítulo, capítulo, y ese creo, creo yo que comenzó en el canal de History. Mm, ah, imagínese. Bueno. Y después le hicieron serie. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, ¿Y usted sí, cuál, sí, sí, cuál mira? I watch, sometimes I watch, right now I'm watching Lucifer, and also... Mm. The Walking Dead and The Blacklist. Uh -huh, the Blacklist. Ah. Those are the ones that I'm watching. Yeah. Lucifer. <laughs> yeah, Lucifer is it's, it's, it's nice. It's kind of funny and. and mm. que le gusta la mujer que le gusta la que no le hace caso. Sí, realmente no. Es que es como un castigo y un regalo prácticamente uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. sí es bien es bien tricky aparte de eso los casos verdad creo que lo policial eh, me llama bastante la atención así que ya yeah, that's nice hey Carlos Está hello <laughs> we're talking about series hello <laughs> hello hello do you watch series on Netflix or on the TV 
Sigo ahí con interferencia de, de Inter ahí. Ah, ah, ok. Porque de repente ya no, no aparezco. Ah, ok. No problem. No problem. Thank you sí. for joining us. <laughs> All right, let's see Carla, hello. Also Marlon, hello, welcome. Anna Joanna, hello, also. Jennifer, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Okay, people, we're going to start, okay? So um, let's see, uh, we were talking a little bit about some things that our family members are doing right now, okay? Eso es lo primero que quiero que practiquemos. Que me cuenten lo que sus family members están haciendo ahorita en la casa, ok, este, por ejemplo, Helen decía, eh, my brother is eh, watching a series on Netflix, ok, so I want to know the action, ok, what they are doing right now, for example, right now my sister is working in the computer, uh, my mother is uh, checking her Facebook on the cell phone, mm -hmm. and my father is watching the news, mm -hmm watching the news okay what about you let's see sylvia what are your family members doing right now hi uh, my Hello. husband is watching news watching the news uh -huh. and, my, and my son uh, playing in their their cell phone uh-huh uh-huh okay only that okay playing uh -huh. playing uh-huh playing their cell phones okay nice uh, let's see, Jorge. Hello, Jorge. Hello, teacher. Tell me, what are your family members doing right now? Uh, my father and my mother. Uh huh. What and are? My, uh huh. And my mother is uh, sleeping right mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. and my <laughs> father is watching TV. Watching TV. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Carla Beatriz. Hello, Carla. Tell me, what are Hello, your teacher. family members doing right now? Okay, my mother and my father watching TV. Mm -hmm. And my brother watching the cell phone. Watching the cell phone, okay? Excellent, okay? <laughs> uh -huh. Don't forget to use is or are, okay? No nos olvidemos de utilizar is or are. Dependiendo del sujeto, ¿verdad? my brother is, my parents are, okay, but yeah, thank you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, let's see, Marlon, what are your family members doing right now, Marlon? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, my son is um, wife. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What is your son doing right now? My son is playing Free Fire. Free Fire, okay. <laughs> and your <laughs> wife? <laughs> and your um, wife? Uh -huh. No sé cómo decir, teacher. Eh, cómo, no está. Cómo, ah, que no está. She, she isn't home. She is not home. Uh -huh. She is not home. Uh -huh. She is not at home. Sorry. She oh. is not at home. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> you like Free Fire. Yeah, no, yeah, boys night. <laughs> Aprovechen que ya le van a ir a poner orden ahí, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, go to sleep, le van a decir. <laughs> Let's see, Alma. Hello, right Alma. Now. Yeah, go to sleep right now. Tell me, Joanna, what are your family members doing right now? Mm, my mother drinking a coffee. Mm, okay, <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And eat the, eating the dinner. And eating the dinner. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Nice. All right, people. Excellent. So, les estoy preguntando esto para que nos acordemos de, de los modifiers con ING, right? Eh, ¿Se acuerdan que ayer los estuvimos viendo para describir lo que una persona estaba haciendo? Esta es usualmente, digamos, la forma eh, más eh, común en la que utilizamos el ING, right? For example, I am speaking, my sister is working, my mother is playing, ¿ok? Esa es la manera más común, pero también lo podemos utilizar para describir lo que, mejor dicho, para hacer referencia 
o describir a una persona, ¿ok? Like, eh, my mother is the person eh, drinking a coffee. Eh, the teacher is a person eh, speaking in English, ¿ok? Eh, ¿cómo, decíamos, ¿Cómo hacemos referencia a lo que alguien está vistiendo? ¿Cómo era? ¿Alguien se acuerda? Weird. Ajá. Wearing. 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 Excellent. Okay. Wearing. También es parte de, obviamente la ropa nos está moviendo, ¿verdad? No es como que la ropa esté viva, pero eh, hacemos referencia a lo que está vistiendo. Okay. The person is wearing a blue shirt, a black, a black blouse, a red blouse, okay. a black shirt. Okay. Hacemos referencia a lo que la persona está wearing. Okay. Wearing. All right. So, today we are going to practice that again. Okay, vamos a hacer la misma práctica que hicimos el día de ayer. Eh, ahora yo voy a hacer la mímica únicamente, okay? Y ustedes van a decir, okay, the teacher is the man or the teacher is the person and then the action, okay? And then the action. So, eh, here we go. <laughs> okay, are you ready? All right, the first action, okay? The teacher is the man or the teacher is the person and then you say, the action. So this is number one. Mm -hmm. The teacher is the person mm -hmm. taking a picture. Taking a picture, similar. Taking a selfie. Taking a selfie, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay, the, the teacher is the person taking a selfie, right? Taking, like taking a selfie. selfie. Uh -huh. Excellent. Number two. Number two. Teacher is the person drinking coffee. Drinking coffee. Drinking coffee. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. The next one. Uh -huh. The teacher is the no. The teacher is the person playing guitar. Playing the guitar. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh -huh. All right. A difficult one. Pay attention. Pay attention. The teacher is the person the cooking the person. a sandwich or making a sandwich. Uh -huh. Cooking a sandwich, making a sandwich. Similar, <laughs> similar. Uh -huh. It's cooking. Okay. Cooking, no. The teacher is the... Uh -huh, not cooking. Party. Oh. What? Toast. Toast. <laughs> Toasting, no. Untando. <laughs> no, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Uh -huh, I'm not doing that. Volteando pupusas. <laughs> volteando pupusas. No, I'm not volteando pupusas. Okay. It's, it's, it's related to the sandwich. Okay. It's related to the sandwich. Pero yes. es otra palabra. The teacher is the person uh, cooking a uh, pupusa. No, mm -hmm. no. It's a sandwich. Okay. It's a sandwich, but it's a different verb. Es un verbo diferente. The, the teacher is the person making the hot dog. Similar. Similar. Making a sandwich. Uh-huh. Hay otro verbo que se utiliza para Preparando. Eso. Ajá, preparing, preparing. Preparing. Ajá, preparing, preparing a sandwich, ok. Preparing a sandwich, ok. Ajá, excellent. The next preparing one. Preparing a break. Ah, preparing a break. Ah, that's a good one too, but it was a sandwich, ok. The next one. The teacher is the person watching Watching uh, a movie in the cinema at cinema. Teacher ah, is the person eating cold pork corn. Eating is not the person eating. Ah, it's not eating. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Eating popcorn. Por ahí lo dijeron ya. Uh -huh. Eating popcorn. Uh -huh. Eating popcorn. Excellent. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. And the last one. Ah, yeah, okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, the last one. Okay, I am doing this. Okay. Uh -huh. The teacher is the teacher, person, the person. Wash, showering. Mm, so so. 
The Para teacher mayor. is the person take, taking a shower. Excellent, taking a shower. Uh -huh. Excellent, okay. So the teacher is the person taking a shower. Nice, okay. Nice, okay. So those are some modifiers, okay. Podemos hacer referencia a una persona describiendo lo que está haciendo, okay. Entonces a eso se refiere modifiers with ing, okay. Excellent, good job, okay. De eso se trataba la clase del día de ayer. Eh, the modifiers with ing, okay. Aquí teníamos algunos ejemplos de los que estuvimos hablando el día de ayer. The woman, and then we say the the the, the the, the action, right? Uh, the teacher is the man drinking water, drinking coffee. Or, sorry, or uh, we made reference to the clothing, right? Lo que la persona está usando. Recuerde que en, en inglés no utilizamos using, sino que cuando se refiere a ropa, usamos wearing. Uh -huh. Wearing. All right. Excellent. And there we have some questions. Es alguna de las preguntas que estábamos haciendo. But now we're going to see the second part, which is modifiers with prepositions, okay? Modifiers with prepositions. So, en ese caso va a ser prácticamente lo mismo, únicamente que, eh, digamos que la action como tal no va a empezar con ing, sino que va a iniciar con una preposition, okay? And I have some examples over here of a preposition. For example, you can describe what the person is wearing, okay? You can describe what the, what the person is wearing. For example, she's the woman with pink earrings, okay? She's the woman with, okay, it's a with, it's a preposition, okay? Entonces, yo estoy describiendo a la persona con todo esto. Y la frase empieza con una preposition, okay? He's the man next to the sofa, okay? He's the man next to the sofa. All right. Si ustedes quisieran describir ahorita, oops, perdón. Si ustedes quieren, quisieran describir ahorita al teacher, okay, the teacher, uh, using prepositions, ¿cómo lo harían? De acuerdo a la imagen que ustedes ven ahorita. The teacher is the person. Teacher is the person uh -huh. from in front of uh -huh. the computer uh -huh. ah, of com the computer. Uh -huh. in front of the computer excellent por ahí alguien más le dijo otra uh -huh. Silvia creo que me dijo no la escuché no in front of my cell phone ah in front of my cell phone okay uh -huh. Uh -huh. is the person in my cell phone I see in my cell phone okay no es que esté cabal exactamente dentro del teléfono, pero se sobreentiende, ¿ok? Que es el que aparece okay. en la imagen, right? In my cell phone, ¿ok? All right. Uh, let's see. ¿Qué otro pueden observar acá de mi entorno? Que ustedes pueden decir, ah, the teacher is a person. Uh -huh. He's sit down in the chair. chair. Mm. He's the person... Ahí si utilizamos down. sitting, estamos utilizando, ahí tendría que ser con el ING, sitting on a chair, ok, que sería sitting on a chair, uh -huh. pero en ese caso estamos buscando una preposition, so, ¿cuál sería la preposition? Sí. Uh, he is the, the person ah, near the, person. the wall. Uh -huh. Near the wall, excellent, ok, thank you, I like that one, ok, near the wall, ok, so yeah, there's a wall here, ok, there's a wall here, so he is the person, yeah near the wall, okay? What's another one? Uh-huh, he's a person. What about this? He's the person with a hair. Ah, with, with headsets, okay, thank you. Uh-huh, with headsets, excellent, okay? So I am wearing that, okay? You can say that also, okay? Puede hacer referencia eh, diciendo con qué está vestido, okay? Con qué está vestido, okay? With headsets, okay? De igual manera podemos utilizar glasses, okay? With glasses, okay? También funciona de la misma manera, okay? With glasses, así como de with pink earrings, okay? Estamos hablando de un, de un accesorio, ¿verdad? Entonces usted puede hacer referencia también a lo que la persona está diciendo, utilizando with, okay? 
with. No, son, no necesariamente decir wearing, ¿ok? Porque si dice wearing, ya sería un modifier con ing, que sería lo que acabamos de ver. Acá estamos haciendo referencia a prepositions, ¿ok? With. All right. What's another example? Hay otros más por aquí. Hay un par todavía. He is the person. The teacher is the person uh -huh. wearing blue shirt. With blue shirt, okay? Remember, we are talking about prepositions, right? Uh, with the blue shirt. Uh -huh. With the blue with shirt. The blue shirt. Mm -hmm. Because we're talking about the preposition. On is preposition. Yes, on is a preposition. Yes. Uh -huh. Entonces podría ser, he is a person on sitting on the chair. Ah, okay, the problem is that sitting is uh, ing. Sitting is uh -huh. uh, an action. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. he is a person on the chair. You can say that, okay? Uh -huh. On the chair. Uh -huh. That's not okay. a problem. Uh -huh on the chair mm -hmm. also i have another chair next to me so you can say that the teacher is a person next to the chair okay next to the chair so that's another one okay next to. entonces esas son algunas de las que nosotros podemos utilizar si se fijan imaginémonos en, en cualquier escenario que usted esté en una fiesta y bastante gente right usted puede describir a una persona diciendo lo que está haciendo o el lugar que ocupa en toda la sala okay Entonces ahí podemos hacer referencia a eso, ¿ok? Podemos hacer referencia a eso. Por ejemplo, si ahorita tuviéramos las cámaras encendidas, también pudiéramos ver otros surroundings de cada uno de nuestros compañeros, right? Por ejemplo, eh, Silvia, tenemos a Silvia ahí que, que podemos describirla, ¿ok? Depende cómo está, también Rosario, podemos describir cómo está, right? Entonces, obviamente solo es una persona, ¿verdad? Es más fácil identificar, pero imaginemos que subiesen unas cinco personas, Ahí tenemos que ser bastante específicos y podemos hacer un modifier, ok, es decir, eh, describir a la persona util, utilizando una preposition phrase, le llamamos nosotros. Porque no solo tiene la preposition, sino que después de la preposition tiene algo más, ok. Tiene something else. Ahora, ¿cuáles son las prepositions más comunes? Aquí tenemos algunas. With, que hacemos referencia a la ropa, ok, con lo que está vistiendo. Eh, next to, in front of in, near, que significa cerca, right, near, on, ok, on, so, in this case, aquí tenemos todas estas eh, preposition, eh, prepositions that we can use, ¿cuáles son otras? Acá tenemos, ¿se recuerdan cuando vimos eh, las directions? Vimos, por ejemplo, yes. on, across from, next to, in front of, behind, between, okay, on the corner of, in the middle of the block, okay. Esas son las que estuvimos utilizando para places, que también podemos hacer referencia eh, a esto utilizando cualquiera de esas prepositions, okay. Así que de eso se trata las prepositions, okay, de iniciar la frase que la está describiendo, no con una action, okay, porque eso ya la practicamos, sino que con una preposition, all right, preposition. So let's see. I'm going to use this map, okay, in order to do one activity. Voy a utilizar este mapa para que hagamos una actividad. Espero que me salga bien, okay. Uh, let's see. All right. So this is what we are going to do. This is the question. Is the place, okay, is the place... And then after that, okay, después de esa frase, is the place, vamos a poner una preposition, okay? Por ejemplo, yo estoy pensando ahorita en uno de esos lugares, okay? Déjeme elegirlo primero. Mm, okay. Ya elegí uno de esos lugares, all right? Ya elegí uno. No le voy a decir cuál es, all right? No le voy a decir cuál es. Pero usted me va a hacer la pregunta haciendo referencia a la description, okay? Y para eso me tiene que hacer la pregunta. Is the place, por ejemplo, is the place next to the movie theater? Okay. Is the place next to the movie theater? Y yo le voy a decir yes or no. Okay. Si le digo que no, pues voy a seguir haciendo preguntas. Right. Si me dice que sí, probablemente tendría que hacer otra pregunta para ser más específico. So, vamos a hacer una práctica. Ya pensé ahorita en un lugar. Alguien que se quiera atrever a hacer una pregunta, yo le digo yes or no. 
Joe? Mm, uh -huh. Tell me. Is the place across from the department store? Okay. Is the uh, place across from the department store? Okay. Me está diciendo que está por acá, right? Ya sea aquí o aquí. So, no. It's, that's not the place, okay? No es ese lugar en que estoy pensando. Another question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the place on Principal Street? Is the place on Principal Street? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Pero Principal Street tiene bastantes, right? So, ya sabes más o menos por dónde preguntarme. Another one. Uh -huh. Is the play across from a National Park? Is the place across from the National Park? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. But we have two, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> is the place next to hair salon? Is the place next to the hair salon? No. Is the place swimming pool? One more time, sorry. Is the place swimming? Uh, is the place swimming pool? Is the place swimming pool? No. Is the place um, between the school and swimming pool? Between the school and the swimming pool? No. It is across from the national park. Uh -huh. It is across from the national park. Mm, across from. Is mm -hmm. the place the library? The library? Is the place the library? No. Is the place a bank? Is the place a bank? No. <laughs> ya estaban cerca. Ya estaban cerca. Is the place uh, behind a workshop? Is the place behind the workshop? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. So what is the it? The place is hair salon. Excellent. The place is the hair salon. Uh -huh. La cosa que Helen me había preguntado si estaba a la par de hair salon. Por eso le dije que no, porque era el hair salon. Ok. Eh, ahí la, la, la pregunta porque era un poco diferente. Uh -huh. All right. But yeah, it was the hair salon. Ok. Entonces esa es la idea, que cuando hagamos is the place, ahí mencionemos eh, the preposition place. Ok. The preposition, sorry. Para hacer referencia, para describir el lugar. All right. Así que lo que quiero que ahorita hagan es lo siguiente. Van a elegir uno de esos lugares. All right. Van a elegir uno de esos lugares. Ustedes sí de cuál. Right. Only one. Y luego entre todos vamos a hacer preguntas. Ok. Nada más elija uno y luego le voy a decir, ok, are you ready? Y lo vamos a tratar de adivinar. Usando la misma, eh, la misma estructura. Yes. Ok. Let's see. I'm going to start with... Ajá. Let's see, Marlon, do you have a place, Marlon? Um, yes, teacher. Um, um. Don't tell me, don't tell me the place, okay? We are going to guess it, okay? Nosotros vamos a tratar de adivinar. All right, I'm going to start with the first question. Uh, Marlon, is the place on Second Avenue? Oh, teacher, but... Is the place on Second Avenue? No veo bien, teacher, but... Ah, Second Avenue is this. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Is the place on Second Avenue? No. No, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más quiere preguntar? Is the place on First Avenue? Avenue. Uh -huh. Marlon, is the place on First Avenue? No, teacher. No, it is not on First Avenue. Okay. The place on George Washington Street? Is the place on George Washington Street? No, teacher. No. Okay. Is the place Principal Street? 
is the place on Principal Street? No, teacher. <laughs> And what is it? Is the place hospital? Note. Huh. Is the place principal parking lot? No. Uh, is the place a gym? <laughs> is the place movie theater? Uh -huh. Note. <laughs> and tampoco de gym. I... Tampoco de gym. <laughs> no. Okay. Is the place across from police station? Across from police station? Casi, casi, casi. Ah, okay. Is the play is bank? Caliente, caliente. Is the place? Is the place? The grocery store. The place, please, excuse me. Uh huh. Is the place the grocery store? No. Ah, Is the place cool? <laughs> no. Ah. Is the play parking lot number two? Ya estamos lejos, ya vamos lejos. Uh, yeah. Is the play a <laughs> national park? Money, money. Is the play swimming pool? Money, money. <laughs> Is the play the, pet shop? The play is bank? Is the place bus stop? The place bank? Yes, yes. The bank. Bank, bank. bank, yes. bank is on Fair Avenue in on uh -huh. from Principal Street. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá, como ahí, como ahí sí, este, Marlon, como ahí la, la First Avenue cubre todo, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí estaba sobre First Avenue yes. y sobre Principal Avenue. Street. Ajá. Entonces es como cabal en la esquinita, ¿verdad? Entonces... Hasta cierto punto quizás tenía un poco de razón porque las dos conectaban, no solamente uno. <ríe> ok. Yeah. Para, right. para, que, para que no fuera tan fácil. Dice. Ah, ok, ok. <ríe> ya, nos hizo, ya nos hizo aquí eh, preguntar, right? Ok, Rosario. Let's see, Rosario. Thank you, Marlon. Let's see. Do you have a place, Rosario? Yes. Ok, excellent. Ok, people, remember, eh, let's use prepositions. Ok, let's use prepositions. I'm going to start, Rosario. Uh, is the place next to the national park? No. Okay. Next. Is the place between Principal Street and George Washington Street? Uh -huh. mm. Near. Está en, mm, okay. Pero le pregunto si, si está entre medio de Principal y George Washington. Yes. Ah, yes. okay, okay, uh -huh. okay, entonces, let's focus on the center, people, uh -huh. Is the place across from a drugstore? store? No. Mm. Is the place hair salon? Mm. Is the place <laughs> special? No. Remember, let's use, play, let's use uh, prepositions. Is the place uh -huh. behind uh -huh. gas station? No. Okay. Is the, is play... the place? Okay, Helen. <laughs> is uh -huh. is uh -huh. the place between okay, building number three? Near, near, near. <laughs> okay, Helen. Is the place? Is the place uh, next to gas station? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. is, it... is the place a workshop? Uh -huh. Yes. Workshop? Ah, okay. Excellent. Yes. Nice. Place. Uh -huh. it's, the, it's, the, it's the workshop. Okay, excellent. <laughs> All right. Excellent, people. Let's see another one. Um, Jorge. 
Let's see, Jorge. Do you have a place? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm going to start. Is the place um, on George Washington Street? No, it's not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the place on Principal Street? No, it's not. Is the yes. place at Swift Avenue? No, it's not. Is the place on Second Avenue? <laughs> <laughs> Second uh -huh. Avenue. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh -huh. Is the is place the Department Store? Repeat it, please. Is the place supermarket? No, it's not. Uh, is, is the, the place, place department yeah. store? Department store? Department store? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Is the place is gym? The... Yes, it is. Ah, it was the gym. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Excellent. Okay. The gym. Nice. The gym. Uh huh. The gym. El lugar que todos preferimos, sí. right? The gym. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. The gym. <laughs> Let's see. Carla Beatriz, do you have a place, Carla? Yes. Okay, Carla. Let's see. Is the place uh, across from the principal parking lot? Mm, no. No. Okay. Is the place for the summoning? On First Avenue? Uh -huh. No. No. Uh -huh. Is the place on George Washington Street? No. Hmm. Is the place on Second Avenue? Yes. Okay, it is on Second Avenue. Second right. Avenue. Remember, is the place let's... department store? No. Remember, no. let's let's use uh, prepositions, okay? Let's use prepositions like next to behind. Is the place uh -huh. next to the, the department store? Behind the gym. Okay, first no, is no. the place. No, no, okay. <laughs> no, no, to two, okay. Is the place next to post office? Uh -huh. No. No. Is the place across from supermarket? Yes. Okay, we have two options. Is the place, place pet hospital? Shop? Yes, pet shop. Ah, it was a pet shop. <laughs> ah, okay, it was a pet <laughs> shop. Okay, okay. Excellent. Okay, nice people. Thank you. Okay, so that's how we use uh, that's how we use modifiers with prepositions. Okay. Acá lo podemos aplicar para personas, para objects, y en este caso que lo ocupamos para places, all right? Pero sí, así es como lo utilizamos, okay? That's how we use it. Now, in the platform, okay? Varios me estuvieron haciendo la pregunta de esa sección, la 4.13. Y acá es prácticamente muy fácil, okay? Acá tenemos dos oraciones, okay? Por si usted no la ha hecho, tenemos dos oraciones. Y lo único que tenemos que hacer es identificar si hay una... ING phrase, okay, un modifier en mm -hmm. ING, o si es de preposition, okay, very simple. Let's see, uh, let's see the example over here, okay, aquí tenemos el ejemplo. Mari is the beautiful girl. She's standing by the door. Entonces ahí tenemos que tomar la primera que vemos, ¿verdad? La primera que vemos. Entonces acá tenemos una ING phrase, standing by the door. Entonces acá lo único que hacemos es tener la primera oración, Mari is a beautiful girl. Modifier. Ajá. Y luego poner el modifier. Ok. Y luego poner el modifier que está en la segunda oración. Entonces, así como el ejemplo, Mary is a beautiful girl standing by the door. Ok. Así que ahí tenemos esa, esa parte. Acá eh, no, me había, no me había percatado que tenemos un pequeño error en la plataforma que sería el button sí. con tres T's. Ok. Tres. Ahí nada más va con, va, con, va con dos. Ok. No va con tres, sino que está nada más con dos. Y este, hay que asegurarnos que le pongamos el punto al final a la oración, ya que el ejercicio no nos lo da, ¿ok? No, no tiene punto al final del espacio, por lo que tenemos que escribir, ¿ok? Aparte de eso, tenga cuidado con las apostrofes, tenga cuidado con los guiones, ¿ok? Eh, ya que eso 
eh, lo puede, le puede dar error. Y también hay que tener cuidado con los dobles espacios, ¿ok? Hay que asegurarnos de que nada más le pongamos un espacio para completar la oración, right? Pero ya, yeah, that's how we have modifiers, ¿ok? De eso se trata eh, modifiers, con, tanto con ING como con prepositions. I don't know if you have any question about this. ¿Alguna duda acerca de eso? Ya sea con prepositions or modifiers with ING. No? no. All right. No. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. So now we're going to continue and we are going to practice uh, asking. Um, we're going to practice asking questions uh, in the past. Okay. Recuerdan que el. el, el la semana pasada estuvimos practicando The Simple Past. Ahora tengo nuevamente un board game en el cual tengo information questions, ¿ok? Para que sigamos practicando, eh, para que sigamos practicando the verbs in the past, ¿ok? So just give me a second. I'm going to look for it. I had it over here, but... Ok. Recuerdan que el primero que hicimos tenía nada más yes no questions, ¿verdad? Entonces solo respondíamos yes, I did, no, I didn't. But now I have a different one and this one is um, asking information questions, ¿ok? Nada más para que nos acordemos, tenemos where, who, why, when, ¿ok? So we have to think about that uh, before answering the question. So let's see. Here we have the questions, ¿ok? Hay algunos espacios en los que ustedes me van a ayudar haciéndole preguntas a sus compañeros, right? Let's see. I'm going to start with, let's see, Miguel Ángel, you're going to be the first one. Let's see how many points uh, you are going to move according to the die, ¿ok? One, one space. Ok, let's see. It says, what did you, what did you eat yesterday for breakfast? I did uh, eat um, a chicken uh, breakfast. yesterday for uh, oh, breakfast. Yes. Oh, ah. uh, uh, um, uh, breakfast uh, and sandwich. A sandwich. Ah, okay. Excellent. Uh -huh. yeah. Excellent. Let's see. Do you remember the simple past of eat? Uh, eat it. Uh -huh. What's the simple past I, of eat? Uh -huh. I, I, I eat a, a sandwich uh, uh -huh. yesterday. This is irregular. For, uh -huh. for, for este, break. For, uh, uh -huh. Este verbo es irregular. Vamos a ver, ¿quién se acuerda, chicos? Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eight. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí sería, eh, Miguel Ángel, eh, I ate a sandwich. Uh -huh. A sandwich. Uh -huh. oh, ok. Excellent. Ok, Miguel Ángel, tell me who's next. Dígame quién sigue. Uh, let me see. Um, Miranda. Miranda. All right, Miranda. Let's see how many points you are going to move. Ok, five points. Excellent. Let's see. One... Two, three, four, five. Okay, Miranda, what did you eat yesterday for lunch? Uh -huh. uh, yesterday, um, I prepared seafood. Seafood? Oh, wow. Yeah, seafood. What, what, type of, um, what type of seafood do you like? Uh, octopus. Octopus. And, and shell. And shells. And shells. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. That's nice. Excellent. Yeah, like okay, that. thank you, Miranda. Tell me who's next. Um, let me see. Um, Carla Beatriz. Okay, Carla. Let's see, Carla. Let's see how many points you're going to move. Oh, wow. Oops, no. Okay, two points, okay. It was going to six, but it, it moved to two points. Let's see, Carla, one and two. Where were you born, Carla? Where were you born? Uh -huh. 
Where were you born? In this case, it is asking about the place, uh -huh, about the place. Mm -hmm. Carla, hello. Okay, if not, let's 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 have someone else, Miranda. Can you tell me the name of another person? Mm -hmm. If not, let's see. I'm going to ask. Hello, hello. Uh huh. Also, now yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Bye. Jennifer Violeta. Jennifer Violeta. Okay, Jennifer. Where were you born, uh, Jennifer? Uh, eso que significa? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde nació? Uh -huh. Ahí tendría que decir, I was born in, y me dice el lugar. Uh -huh. I was born in, in San Salvador. Okay. I was born in San Salvador. Excellent. Okay. okay. I was born in San Salvador. Jennifer, tell me the next person. Uh, Silvia. Silvia. Okay. Let's see. Silvia. The question. Okay. Let's see how many points. One point. Okay. Let's see. Silvia, ask one question to the teacher. Uh huh. Ask one question to the teacher. One year old, teacher. Hmm? How old year old? Ah, how old are you? How old are you? That's a question. How old are you? Uh-huh. Uh, yes. Okay, I am 27 years old. Uh -huh. I am 27. All right. Uh, Silvia, who's next? Next, uh, Helen. Helen. Okay, Helen. Let's see how many points you're going to move. Oops. It says five points. Let's see. One, two, three four, five. Okay, Helen, the question is, when were you born? I was born mm -hmm. uh, 26 October 1984. Okay, uh -huh. October 26, uh, 1984. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Helen. Let's see the next question, Helen, for whom? Who's the next person? Um, um, Carlos Enrique. Okay, Carlos. Let's see, Carlos. Your question Hi. is hello. Let's see, four points. Four points. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, Carlos, choose one person in this class and ask one question to him or to her. Uh -huh. Usted decide a quién, a quién le pregunta. Y usted decide la pregunta. Uh -huh. Silvia uh Yanira. -huh. For Silvia. Okay, let's see. What's the question, Carlos? Hágale la pregunta. Uh -huh. Puede ser utilizando did, puede ser utilizando information questions, como usted quiera. Where, where do you live? Where, uh -huh. where do you live? Uh -huh. Where do you live? I live in Ciudad Delgado City. Ah, excellent. Ciudad Delgado City. Excellent. Let's see. The next person is going to be, uh, let me see, let me see. Daisy. Daisy, you're next, okay? Let's see how many points you're going to move. Oops, sorry. Two points. Okay. Two points. We are here, right? One and two. Okay. Uh, Daisy, can you ask one question to your classmates? Eh, para Rosario. Okay, uh -huh. Rosario. 
Where are you from? Uh -huh. I'm from in El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. Uh -huh. I am from El Salvador. Excellent. Okay, Rosario, tell me who's next. We have a uh, but no veo. Carlos Alfonso, we have Miriam, we have uh, Alma Joana, we have Maya. Alma, Alma Joana. Okay, Alma. Alma Joana. Uh -huh. Excellent. Let's see Alma. Let's see if you win or if we have to go back to start, okay? Let's hope not a one. No, okay. No, we had a one, okay? <laughs> so we have to go back to start, mm -hmm. people, okay? We have to go back. Let's go back. Go back to start. start okay? All right, let's see. <laughs> Anyways, right? Let's see. The next one is three, okay? Three, one, two, three. Okay, so it was Daisy, right? Daisy, can you ask one question to one of your classmates? Again. It wasn't you? Alma Joana fue verdad, perdón, perdón. Alma, let's see Alma, can you ask one question to one person? Uh, for you? For me. Ah, okay. Tell me. What is your favorite music? Ah, my favorite type of music. Uh, I like everything. I like reggaeton, I like electronic music, I like rock. I like salsa, um, yeah, cumbia, you know, for, for Christmas. I like, yeah, I like everything. <laughs> reggae. Yeah, I like reggae. I like, I like music in English, in Spanish, in, in Japanese. Yeah, like, like, you know, we have BTS and Blackpink. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like everything. I like everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I choose the last person. The last person is going to be. Let's see. Mirna. You're the last one, Mirna. Teacher, excuse me, a uh, cell phone? What? What happened? Oh, Excuse me, casi no le escuché la clase porque tuve de perfecto aquí con el teléfono. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Excuse no. me, entonces estoy de oyente en este momento. Ah, ok, no problem, ok. Excuse Thank me. You. Yeah, no problem, no problem, don't worry. Uh, let's see, Carlos Alfonso then. Carlos Alfonso, you're the last one. Let's see. How many points? Four points, ok. Let's see, one two, three, and four. Okay, can you ask one question to one of your classmates? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, for... mm, Jorge Alberto. Okay, for Jorge, let's see Jorge. The question is? Is do you like online class? No sé si está bien la pregunta. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you like online classes? Uh -huh. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Perfect. Excellent. Nice. All right, people. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. Now uh, we have finished with section number four. Okay. That's it. We don't have more exercises. And now we are moving with the last exercise. Okay. Mi recomendación sería trate de avanzar durante el fin de semana, ¿ok? Eh, durante el fin de, bueno, mañana les voy a compartir una lista eh, de verbos que vamos a utilizar la siguiente semana, ¿ok? Para que la estudiemos durante el fin de semana y que se nos haga fácil eh, la producción eh, la otra semana con, con este nuevo tema, ¿ok? Así que eh, lo vamos a practicar. También usted adelante si quiere. Eh, puede empezar a hacer algunas partes del de, de examen, si usted quiere también, si ya terminó la, la, la sección número 4, eh, en las que vea los temas que acabamos de ver, ¿ok? Y así no se le acumule todo eh, la otra semana, ya que la otra semana terminamos jueves las clases 
y tenemos nada más hasta el día viernes para completar la plataforma. ¿Ok? Así okay. que trabajemos en eso durante el fin de semana y mañana les comparto una lista que creo que les va a agradar para, para poder eh, practicar los, los, la siguiente categoría de verbos que vamos a ver. ¿Ok? Ok. So, thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night see and you. see you on Monday. Ok? Bye bye. Thank Have a nice you. weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.